All right, so Three Ninjas Podcast, Domino, Hess, Jones, Bobby, and we finally got this fucking Zoom to work, so now we have a special guest on the line. So now, if you're watching this later in the fucking ethos of YouTube and all that shit, or if you're hearing it, you know, on your SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, all that bullshit, all that, yeah. So, on the line right now, we have, like I said, a very special guest. He's been on Comedy Central, he's been on Amazon Prime, he's been on HBO. He currently has a new comedy album that came out, what? I think the first of June. You uh, got title it, yep. title Nori. So yes, sir. On the line right now we have comedian Nori Davis. Nori, how <laughs> hey. are you, man? Gang, 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 gang. We out here. We out here doing good, man. Doing good on this Sunday, you know. Staying low and trying not to spend no money. Word, <laughs> word, word. <laughs> I think we all, you know, just trying to get through life, trying to spend the least amount of money. You know, we travel places like yo gas. Like I don't know if I can come there. Yeah, I don't know if I can go. What, what you talking about? Nigga, like I said, inflation up, sour power straws are up, everything's up. <laughs> we we paying for this white world war. Yeah. <laughs> we paying for the war? white world war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The white, white folks still at war. We paying for it. Yeah, and we don't even know what the score is. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> I'm like, uh, they winning, they losing. What's happening? Yeah, what's up? That shit, Johnny, Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, nah, that, gas that, prices, that, fucking that. school shootings. Oh yeah, all that. Oh yeah, yeah. true. Is that Ukraine still going at it? Yeah. Forgot about that shit overseas. Real yeah, quick. Yeah, Ukraine. Right. They yeah, they going at it. Don't even know like yeah, what's what's popping? What's the score? All that shit. So you know, just laying low and just trying to get my mental state right to be funny in these weird ass times. You know, <laughs> being being black. You know how this shit is, man. They oh, just expect yeah. us just to be funny and entertaining like none of this shit is like affecting anybody you know shit is weird um but very happy to be on this podcast man with y'all thank you now how do you deal with that though because i'm pretty sure that people you know know you're a comedian they're like hey nigga tell me a joke you funny right now shit going on nigga they kiss my ass i wish they would tell me that <laughs> Tell me a joke, but it is not. I think I think they stopped saying that shit. Uh, yeah, I um, uh, I I just take time to myself. Like even Sunday right now, like I'm just in Brooklyn chilling with my lady, just like doing nothing. You know, mm-hmm. like we about to just, you know, I'm doing a podcast now. Um, and then after that, just gonna watch some Pete Valley and smoke. And coast. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I have those down times, man, it really helps me to like, all right, let me rev up and make some fun shit or, you know, talk some shit, you mm. know, work on some material. Um, and last night I was working on new material too. So, and it's weird because the audience are like rich. So <laughs> only rich people can afford <laughs> the comedy yeah, closed yeah. out. N- niggas ain't pulling up to no. Twenty dollar cover and two three minimum. And they don't know the niggas in there. Yeah. They ain't no niggas. That's all white folk, bro. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, all right, let me just figure out. Let me bomb in front of these niggas because they can afford it. Yo, white people got money to be curious, and that's hilarious. <laughs> yo, I mean, that's I. I think I recently just figured out that's their culture, man. Just being curious <laughs> and just like just going over there, like what y'all doing? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Give me that. I want that. <laughs> That's true. What is that? I want it now. <laughs> and yeah, what is that? I want it now. And then next week is like, it's ours. Yeah. Like, wait, <laughs> we came up with wait, it. Wait, wasn't my, yeah, wasn't my nigga Jeff Brown here? <laughs> he, mm-hmm. he gone. What are you talking about? He was never here. That's that's critical race theory. You tripping. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> the hell wrong with y'all? Oh, man. <laughs> God is looking crazy. <laughs> Ooh, so, man, um, so so first thing I want to know is uh, how's your mom doing, man? Because I, I oh, saw the post, man. I just wanted to make sure everything was on the up and up. Thank you, man. That is a tough one, man. Thank you for your love and concern. Oh, you know she's in a, you know we have her in the hospice, so mm-hmm. now it's just like you know loving her while she's here, mm-hmm. you know. So that's the serious part. Mm. The funny part about it <laughs> is. It's like, nigga, I would have, I don't know how she does it. I would have been gone, nigga. I would have, <laughs> stage four, mm-hmm. a word? All right, well, I'm out. I'm out, baby. I'm out. We we, we ain't going to do this. Let's, let's cut, let's wrap this up. Mm-hmm. I would not want to be, like, she's strong, man. I love her, man, you know. But I'm like, damn, nigga. I hope, I hope I have a loved one. Or even myself, throw in the towel, my nigga. 
<laughs> Throw the towel. <laughs> Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Like, I, I feel... It's weird because, like, my comedy voice is how I mourn through this, and then there's the other one that's judging me for saying that, but it's yeah. just funny. It's just like... My nigga, yo, just throw in the towel, my nigga. I'm good. Like, mm. bye. Mm. Give me extra, give me an extra dose of morphine. Mm. I'm out of here. <laughs> Cause now she just sitting up here, you know, just stage four, stage four. And like she's being fed and everything through a tube. And mm. she's very alert. She's aware, you know, talking, loving her while she's here. Um, but you know, she's slowly deteriorating, you know, and it's just so hard to see your mother, like, you know, your mom's just mm. You know, stage four of cancer. That's you know, that's the final form of Majin Buu. <laughs> that's that's the final cell. Mm. That's the self. That's the final cell form, bro. Like you can't, yeah. can't be that, man. So, uh, poor thing. You know. So, thank you for asking. Yeah, it's just it feels like it's torture. To tell you the truth, it's mm. torture, man. It's like Hellraiser. You know, Hellraiser. How they be like. Like, yes, your pain mm -hmm. is my pleasure. Mm -hmm. It feels like that. It's like, Ma, oh, God, Ma, please. Mm -hmm. Just, nigga, if I was you, I'd be gone. But, <laughs> you know, making her comfortable, loving her while she's here, and that's, yeah. The best you could do. Yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's it. That's it. That's all we can do, you know? And, um, and that was what I wanted to get her to, like, but she wasn't even telling us how she was really going through it. Like, she just kept saying, I can't eat, I can't eat. And we didn't know it was... The cancer yeah. shutting her down from eating. Mm. She never really um, told us that information, so she was withholding that. So she's like very, she's a prideful, prideful woman. You know what I mean? So luckily, we got to her in time. Got her to the hospital. You know, put some more quarters on the video game. Um, put some more sand in that hourglass, mm. and you know. Sand is running and she's running and I'm, I'm glad we got it to that point where people can come and visit and love her. So thank you for asking, man. Yeah, man, no problem. Um, man. I know it's a thank you, man. touchy subject for a lot of people. It's a lot of, you know, just unfortunate <laughs> passes out here, you know, just to have that on your Bruh. plate along with like, you know, still put police brutality, is school shootings, is fucking just wild and white people. It's, it's just a lot of shit. So to deal with that personally, just had to ask It's about so it. much, bro. And it's not even like, if she passed, like she's still here. Yeah. It's like my my nigga, if it was me, I'd be gone. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no like, one to yeah. I'd be like, how check you please. I'm, I'm fucking out of here. Yo, yeah, 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 I'm gonna get out of here. No, <laughs> no, prop prop me up, prop me up, <laughs> clean my mouth. And, and <laughs> it's like yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Nigga, I, I told you, man. I told my lady, 69, man. That's the age. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Why 69? 69? I don't know. It's just a good number. It feels like a good number. Is I feel like 70s are a little 70s a little too old. I think my 60s is gonna be fire and just put me in my Lamborghini and my and a, a double shot of morphine. I'm out, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Cruising down that fucking turnpike. I'm gone. But yeah, I want to do... That's my death shit. I want to do Grand Theft Auto. Like, I want to I wanna see if I can get five stars in a Lambo on the New Jersey turnpike and the the, the first nigga to the Delaware Bridge wins. That's, that's what <laughs> Oh, and right there, I'm going to hit right into the fucking bridge, into the river. And that's it. You know, I ain't taking nobody with me. You know what I mean? Like, just that Lambo. Yep. <laughs> just, just that Lambo. Me and my yep, I'm out. And let that insurance money go to my daughter. You know what I mean? I already got it all planned out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, a comedian's brain, is it ever allowed to rest or is everything turned into a bit eventually? Because that's, you know, oh, God. trauma, good shit, yeah. bad shit. It's just everything in the world's like, you you observe and then you're just like, oh, I could I could make that funny. Yeah, nigga, great question, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, no, it's never turned off, man. I put this trauma to work, baby. <laughs> 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 that, that fucking judgmental, shameful voice that you grew up with, probably your, your mother, your grandmother, your dad, that voice in my head is definitely my mom. And it's just always judging. Even right now, it's like, why are you sitting like that? Why you look like that in the camera? Can they even see you? Does that guy even like you? Oh my God. What is this like? It's like my brain don't shut the fuck up. So it's like, all right, I just direct it towards topics. I'm like, just attack that and shut up. And <laughs> leave me alone before it attacks me, you know? Um, so yeah, eventually it's just brain just going, 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 thinking, thinking, thinking of what bits 
like what 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 actually is the core of the subject, what it is, and then like find the angle. It usually I usually find the angle and then I go with that, man. So like, yeah, it does not turn the fuck off unless I smoke. <laughs> Indigo is a good one. Indigo is that Indigo. That's that knockout weed. Like good night, yeah. nigga. Like, and then Sativa the recently <laughs> shut it all down, dog. Like. Turn it off like that old black man the janitor in school. Like, turn these lights off. <laughs> like, turn all these goddamn lights off. Like <laughs> what the hell, yeah? This this must be closed at twelve. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing? Um, I have a close. Yeah, indica. That's my shit. But like, I just discovered sativa, which mm. is like an an upper and feeling good. I had that at the roots picnic. I was like, "Ooh, this is good. I might have to get on that sativa, that sativa bag, bro." Because mm. I'm in Yonkers, so they weed is trash. God <laughs> damn, <laughs> niggas is smoking Home Depot clippings or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot grass. The fuck is this? <laughs> this shit was grown in the plant, the plant section of Home Depot. Like the fuck is this hybrid? Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, bro, just. It, it 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 never shuts the fuck up, and so I just point it to a topic, and then I'll attack it. And other than that, I just don't listen. But yeah, man, it, it's it's always going. Right, it's always going. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you mentioned the roost picnic. I was gonna bring that up later, but how was that experience, man? Bro, the roost picnic is it's like um it's a nice little indie black wave that's coming. Like they've been doing it for years. I heard, but mm-hmm. this recent one is good. I encourage everybody to go, and I feel like it's like the beginning eras of like what Afropunk was, where it was just mm-hmm. like, you know, all for us, FUBU. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, got, it was, it was FUBU, you know, and then it got, it got bigger and then it got international and shit got crazy. But, um, it was, it was, it was spectacular, bro. It's, um, I mean, you could watch G, G Herbo on one stage and then Jasmine Sullivan on the, on the main stage as a black man. What do you do? Ballots, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> we all need ballots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nigga, so it's just like, all right, let me get my, who wants to smoke with me? Who wants to smoke with me? And then let, let me run over to the other stage and get that pain. Pain. <laughs> you can't, you can't shoot niggas that hear about hotels after. That's crazy. <laughs> yo, yo, bro. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. And then they hear about the, the, the hotels. Yep. It was it was it was great, and then like I think Sunday was five. Cause they had music, Soul Child, SWV, and Keisha Cole, and you know everybody singing their heart out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was a beautiful experience, bro. Definitely next year, I encourage everybody just to like get a taste of it, and uh, just being around us, where you know we just some beautiful people, great vibes. Um. The only thing I'll say is like, yeah, black people, we gotta let go, uh, swag surf. I think we've been we do that. We that so, swag surf was every three hours. <laughs> <laughs> swag surf, and before I let you go, the the Beverly one and the one with Beyonce. No, we never play the Beyonce. Uh, Why are we playing the Beyonce one? Yo? <laughs> playing the Beyonce one, man, every three hours. On the dot. <laughs> and what's the other one? Oh, yeah, we're in Philly, so you know, dreams and nightmares. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I mean, that's mandatory. I mean, come on. Straight we got the roof picnic, nigga. No, you got to play that. <laughs> I know you got to play. I'm just saying. Hold on, wait a minute. Hours, every three hours? Of every three hours? Day, of, yes, every three hours. Like, all right, oh, dreams and nightmares. It's, it's six o'clock. <laughs> dreams. <laughs> it's oh, nightmare oh, time, yeah. Is that dreams and nightmares? Oh, yeah. it's, not, it's 9 p.m. It, it, it's time. <laughs> It's funny. It's like every DJ is like, I'm going to get mine off. <laughs> like, I don't care if it's played 45 the, times today. Nigga, exactly. In the audience, we, I ain't going to hold you. Like, day three, Sunday, I'm in the audience. Like, my nigga, again. I, and then, but but our body can't fight it. We naturally have to be like, I used to do the times. Like, exactly. Like, I'm I'm singing it with an attitude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kind of, <laughs> saying, I thought I was finished, but no. Nah, it's like, kind of like your birthright right at this point. Like, if you're black, you got to know these three songs. <laughs> Bro, yes. That is basically like, probably a TikTok challenge song. Right. Uh, that is definitely three black songs that's, like, on heavy rotation at every event. And it's like, I mean, I guess at first I was like, let it go. But now I'm like, yeah, it's, we got to spread the time out. Not get rid of it. Mm. But that that's our anthem. Yeah. Right. Um, 
what else? Like, what happened? Oh, Mary J. Blige, she came out. She came out. Like, everything was running late. You know, you know black people. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Everything was like three hours late, like okay. two and a half hours late. So <laughs> Auntie Mary came out. Like eleven fifty, them aunties left, man. They came up a little early. They was like, "Look, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I gotta go." Yeah, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> and Mary was so Mary so good, yo. She just out there, you know. She she's mommy from Power, right? And she like the mom from Power, like she yeah. working. And so she she made everybody sing the song. So she'd be like, "I'm going." <laughs> <laughs> and she would point the mic to the crowd, like, "Y'all got it. Go ahead." <laughs> I've been doing this shit for 20 weeks, 20 years. It's your Nigga, turn. It's your turn, basically. I'm going down. Love it out, man. She made everybody sing them songs, which is so cute. She was like, look, I'm tired, y'all. Y'all got this shit. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think about my favorite. That's my favorite performance, Mary. My other favorite performance was, um, oh, Summer Walker. Oh, mm. my God. Oh, she how many like, broken-hearted bitches was in the crowd when that happened? <laughs> Yo, so many. And even when she wasn't performing, like, I like she doesn't like performing. Like I'm hearing my lady was telling me she doesn't like performing. So yeah. you can see it on her face. Her face was like the whole time, like, am I done? <laughs> <Is this over?" laughs> Anxiety's kicking her ass right now. Right. <laughs> the anxiety was kicking her ass. Like, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't like how this sounds. So then she walk off and the band keep playing. So the band's playing like this bitch does this all the time. Don't worry, she'll be back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bitch, you be all right. You go out there and sing and then we be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be right. yeah, so she just like the band just playing, and at one point the the backup singer she came out there and just started singing, mm -hmm. you know, because like I, Summer needed more time, and I think she came out did one more song, and then and then that was it. She she just she she don't she doesn't say bye. She just leaves. She just leaves. <laughs> she just leaves. Like, this is over. Now. I love it. I love it. I wish as a stand up I could perform my jokes like that. Just like, look, I don't like this shit. This, the world is on fire. <laughs> I'm all Ain't shift. I'm going home. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this shit on Zoom. Zoom me in. <laughs> now, um, also so, yeah, heard that you fire. talked to the guy Dave Chappelle. Ooh, yes, I did. Man. How was that interaction? Man, that that was good. Man, he's he's a comics comic. He is definitely like. 30 plus years in the game. Mm. So it was great to hear him where he addressed the Monique and the Monique and DL Hughley situation mm. in a very, he came in the perspective of a stand up comedian, like, damn, man, like that shit is crazy what's happening with between those two. I mean, we all know what happened, right. but he was given more of like details of like, there's something deep rooted happening with Monique that he doesn't like. And I, he hopes that she gets you know, healing from that. Mm -hmm. And so it was just being, you know, I was, cause you know, my brother's transgender. So like I was in mm -hmm. enemies, I was in enemy territory. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I was like in the, on the side, just watching Skeletor talk. And I'm like, Oh shit. <laughs> I, I'm in Castle Grace called nigga, this shit wild. And then, <laughs> and then he told me to go and perform, open up for him. I'm like, Oh shit. And you know, so I uh, I sold my brother out for a week, and I, I <laughs> when I came back, I was like, "Bro, I'm sorry, dog. Like, what do you do when your childhood, like your childhood nigga that you look up to, don't fuck with trans people? Like, what do you do? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who y'all grew up with. Like, like if Raphael was like, you know what, I love you, man. You like, I love you too, Raphael. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, but I don't, I don't fuck with trans people. You're like, all right, well, I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I mean, we wasn't talking about that, but okay. <laughs> like, I don't I know you, you, yeah, out of nowhere, like, yo, what you talking about, Elmo? Yeah, Elmo, like, yeah, I think this should, this should just only be two genders. I don't understand that trend. Like, all right, yeah. okay, Elmo, you know, all right, I, I guess that's what we doing. <laughs> That's how I can describe my appearance. And then I got I got out of the castle grace court. I was just like, oh shit, I was tripping, bro. Like I was, <laughs> man, you you join any group for three days, man. You gonna join them. Fuck yeah. it. Mm. <laughs> nigga, y'all three niggas go to KKK. I after <laughs> three, like, well, you know, the niggas was tripping over there. <laughs> <laughs> them hoods is fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I did not know this cloth was so breathable. <laughs> This shit in red. Red is in red. I mean, listen, crosses can keep you warm, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Hilarious. The crosses keep you warm. <laughs> I mean, that's just free heat on your lawn. Uh, right. Free heat on your lawn. 
<laughs> free heat right there. You know, it, it, it cut me down on my kind Edison bill. And then you get out of it. You, you people's like, yo, you just fucking trippy. Like, you right. I was tripping. My bad. My bad, dog. I, so it, it was it was like You see that. hate, I see savings. <laughs> yo, you got <laughs> I see savings. Yeah. <laughs> they was just trying to warm up the house. I mean, you know what's going on. Uh, that's fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, so that's how I described that experience. It's just like, oh shit, I'm in Castle Grayskull, and I get out of there. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga, wow. Um, yeah, but you know, he's he's an old head, you know what I'm saying? So he doesn't really understand the insensitivity it is. And plus, you know, niggas like 30 plus, 60 mil, and what else he gonna talk about? Right. Like, <laughs> at this point, I be I tell my brother and the uh, community trans me, I'm like, he just they just trolling now. Now they just trolling. Mm. Yeah. They just trolling. Now this shit is just like, bruh, like you yeah, yeah, dead ass have nothing else to talk about because it's, you know, as social media and the algorithm, it, it don't matter if it's good or bad, if it gets engagement. So that's gonna get an engagement. But, mm. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's from more of a smart a smart and dumb way of just trolling <laughs> with the specials, you know, that's all that shit is. I mean, and, and like when you, when I'm watching him perform, he's just a, a older black man who's goofy and just wants to tell jokes about everybody. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the, that's the, that's the safe way of putting it. But then the other side is like, yeah, nigga, I was, I, I sold my brother for a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I, nigga I, Chappelle, I nigga. <laughs> Exactly, man. Like he's the reason why I got to stand up, and then you see him do the like, the transphobic type jokes. It's like, damn, you know what you gonna do when you know? I don't know. Chippendale Rescue yeah, Rangers, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, like Batman, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Like who else? I don't know. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like the whole the whole Mickey Mouse Ducktales. They like, yo, yeah, we'll fuck with trans people. You like, well, I guess that's what. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> now, from well, yeah, uh, nah, it was uh, no, nah, go ahead. But yeah, it was a good, good. No, nah, it was a good experience. So it was, it was a good experience. And even all that stuff, I'm like starting to work out in my head. I, I want to like bring that to the stage because like that's just a uh, an angle I have never heard of, a mm. perspective I never, I never, uh, I never encountered. So it's so raw, um, but honest. But yeah. Word. Now, listen to your stand up. I've come to the My conclusion nigga. you're a big fucking nerd. <laughs> like, yes, you're I really, am. you're really into this nerd shit. So, yes, I am, bro. a very important question I have is, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle and why is it Raphael? <laughs> oh man, hell yeah. Um, uh, well, Raphael, I mean, that's the nigga. That's the nigga of the group. <laughs> <laughs> that that's why I gravitate. He's a real nigga. He he can't stand his fucking. Snooty ass, uptight Leo. <laughs> Michelangelo's a goofball. Like he kind of relates more to Mikey because he's a goofball, but like you know, he's younger there. And Dante, he he's in his own tech nerd. So like, he doesn't like. I mean, you saw the new update in Ninja Turtles. They, they basically his, they put a do rag with eyes. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> That's what they did for the movie. Yeah, <laughs> wait, Raphael exactly. Wade? Exactly. No, nah, no, it's, yeah. it's the same shit. It's a bandana, but the eyes is cut out. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it's a do rag with the eyes cut out, bro. I'm like, that's a whole nigga. They even know it. <laughs> Might as well put a scully on a nigga. Like <laughs> they, put, they, they put a scully with two holes in it. I'm like, yo, they even know. Yeah. So like, he's he's a real one, bro. And then definitely from um the 1989 film that's mm. one of my favorite films as a kid and i remember watching that shit in the theater and that, that shit was fire and i remember i like, saw the, the tattoo you got with a ref in the yeah. tub i was like that's an yeah, interesting one that's, a, that's, that's, that's an interesting scene to put on there it's like oh, very very pivotal yeah that is my summer walker tattoo right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. i was hurt when they threw rap that nigga, that nigga didn't move <laughs> Oh, bro, that's shit. when my nigga was down and out. That's how I feel all the time before I'm about to perform. Just down and out. <laughs> Beat the fuck down. I feel like I'm in a tub of sorrow. <laughs> nigga, I'm in a tub. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, that is me sewn up in a perfect picture. So I had to get that tattoo. Yeah, that's Raphael getting his ass beat and he in the tub. Yep. <laughs> I love that shit because my niggas really on the roof. Like, how you expect y'all niggas gonna beat me? And then, <laughs> right? Like, I'm like, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> he said, oh, shit. All right. He's like, oh, 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 you got your people. You ain't say all that. Exactly. 
So imagine all those ninjas just like, you know, police brutality, <laughs> inflation, anxiety, depression, war, bills, <laughs> doubt, <laughs> insecurity. It's just like, oh, that's how y'all gonna beat me. Okay, mm. good answer. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> so that that metaphor is just a perfectly written screen scene and it just speaks to me. So yeah, I'm such a big fucking nerd, you're right. <laughs> and I don't know, yeah, I just wanna be that type of black stand up who like who has a little bit over, like a, a little bit much more like nerd references in his punchlines. Mm. I, I just think that's kind of cool just to have that and speak to the to the real niggas out there and and uh, my ladies and non-binary, everybody of just like putting in just a little bit of nerd culture and um, stand up. That's 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 my wave. I love doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's how literally me. <laughs> so how I first discovered you, right, is um yeah. I was on Kevin Eastman's page and he had posted a clip of this bitch you did about the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> when I heard that Yo. shit, I was like, this nigga got me already. I don't give a fuck if you funny or not. I'm gonna check all his shit out. <laughs> Fire. Fire, bro. So I saw that wow. shit. I was like, yo, that's dope that Kevin Eastman actually recognized it and then posted it on his page. Yeah, man. I mean, I I won. Yeah. I won. <laughs> I won. I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. The rest, the rest, I'm, the rest is just extra credit now, but like, yes. So imagine Kevin Eastman is like, yo, I don't fuck with trans people. Like, what you gonna say? <laughs> yo, I've talked to Kevin Eastman several times. And if he yeah, said yeah. some shit like that, I don't I like, I mean, sometimes you gotta care. Like, you get, sometimes you just, like, yo, just not gotta care about him. Yeah. Like, like, yo, like, yo, Kev, man, like, yo, you tripping right now. But like, look, I'm, I'm with you, whatever we gonna do, but like, I can't be with you though. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, no, but um, yeah, no, that was a nigga, that was fire. Like, cause I even that was me too, bro. I sent like that clip to his like his page because mm. i met him because he's at all the comic cons like if you know he's basically oh, like yeah, he, the white he, he's version everywhere. he's the white version of the black range at <laughs> <laughs> that nigga gonna be at every event and he's signing <laughs> and like good and good for him that nigga's always there so i told him i like yo i did a comic comic view thing thing and he was like oh word I, not comic view, excuse me comic central bit and he was like, oh, we're all cool, man. Yeah, send it. And then his wife heard it. Like, oh, really? That's so dope. Yeah, send it, send it to this email. So she gave me her personal email and I sent it to him. And then mm -hmm. that's when they uh, they replied and then they posted it. And I, I, I didn't even know they was going to post it, but that shit was fire. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then he sent me like a, a, a care package of like signature Ninja Turtle stuff, like with his logo on it. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the last Ronin, that comic book that just came out, he signed the first cover for me. So I have Fucking that framed. <laughs> and yo, bro, yeah, I, I know. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, but you know, I, I could send you a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, yo, you can fucking buy this NFT. <laughs> I can't, yeah, I can send you the NFT of it if you want. I can even have it in your virtual room. Nah, fuck it. Nah. Out here. Um, yeah, he's stupid. Oh, my thing, bro. He's stupid. He's like, yo, I hate you, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> um, that shit was fire, bro. Yeah. Um, so I didn't even know. Like, that's what's up. Like, like, I didn't even know niggas really be following Kevin Eastman like that. But like, yeah. Oh, I mean, nigga, I am turtle god over here. <laughs> nigga, oh, word. I'm one of them that's niggas. Like, I'm one of them. I've been watching since the 1990s cartoon all the way up to even yeah. if I don't like the shit. If it's turtles <laughs> so and it's whack, like I'm still watching. It. Exactly. Comics, games, yeah. all that shit. <laughs> yeah, I watched all of them except for the Disney XD one. Did you see that new one? I see everything, oh, nigga. I, I, I seen the Batman one. I seen. Oh, the Batman was hard. Yeah, Batman was, was fire. That shit was tough. Was the fire. Disney XD they one. They killed it was, that shit. It was a thing. You know, yeah. <laughs> it happened. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say I enjoyed it, but you know, it's turtle, so you know, I'm already. In it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think I like that animation for it, and I'm and not even on some like old British shit. It's just like ah. Uh, I don't know what they were trying to go for that, but it's all good. Um, yeah, but like, yep, such a mid So I right, wait. So who's your favorite? Who's y'all favorites? My personal favorite changes with every iteration. So <laughs> mm. from like the fucking comics, might have been Michelangelo. Like like that, Word. like the eighty, like the eighties comics. When the movie yeah. came out in nineteen ninety, it was Donatello. Mm. Turtles two came nice. out. It might have been. Raphael, Turtles 3, might have been Mikey. Nah. You know, it, okay. it, it just changes every time I watch them. I'm like, oh, I fuck with this nigga in this one. But the other one's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> everybody else is kind of like up there. 
I like that. I mean, you have like a very particular taste. Like, yeah, at the diner, I like coffee, but at the restaurant, I want wine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because like I'll be I'll be watching the cartoon. And I'm like, oh, Donnie, man, smart. Yeah. And then and then they'll yeah. put him in the movie. I was like, this nigga Donnie, tough as hell. Like he damn near beat everybody up. And then like you know. Right. He was using big words when he called Casey a claustrophobic. Hilarious. <laughs> but then, but then oh, I got God. it when I was older. I was like, this nigga Casey thought he was calling him gay. <laughs> I was like, you, you, you want a fist in the mouth? <laughs> Never oh, even looked shit. at another man. <laughs> claustrophobic. Yo, I even know that. What film? Wait, that was the, the first. That's, that's film. A, that, second that, that, one, right? That, nah, that was in the first one. Oh, when, that was, um, it was the first one. Yeah. yeah this you... is this the point where they left the farm. Raphael was up. Yeah. Them yeah. niggas left the farm, got back in yeah. the sewer, and they was about to go fight the foot to find Splinter. Yeah, and then That's Casey right, was I like, yeah. "Yeah, Casey was like, I'm not sleeping down here." And Johnny was like, "You're a claustrophobic." <laughs> claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah. Classic, You're a claustrophobic. I'm what? I'm what? I'm what? what? Nigga? Yeah, he reacted like he called him like he was gay or something. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like it was like, calm down, bro. Like you don't like small spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah. even looked at another man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I never looked at no other man. What you talking about? Like, yo, that shit was hilarious. Yeah, and nah, Splinter was firing that. All right, so like, and so in the 90s movie, you like Donnie in that one. Right. All right, where, yeah, Donnie was firing that one. I like Raphael. Now. I mean, obviously, because of the tattoo. Mm-hmm. What about you other guys? Which y'all, who y'all fuck with? Michelangelo. I'm always like Michelangelo. <laughs> I like being goofy and shit. Yeah. Yeah, so just having a good time, so. And pizza. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Nigga, uh, pizza pizza owes them all the money, bro. Oh Facts. yeah, Pizza Hut it was popping back then. Was it a Domino's nigga. that got delivered? Nah, Pizza nah, Hut. Pizza, it was pizza Hut. Pizza was pop- you remember pizza, the Pizza Hut commercial at the pizza. beginning of the tape, nigga? Yeah. Games yeah. in the distance. <laughs> 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 yeah. Strikes on the battery. <laughs> yo, yeah. classic, yo. Man, this this is my dream, man. Just to get on the podcast and nerd out with some niggas, man. I love yeah. it. That's us, nigga. I'm saying. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We actually got a take about the movie. Um, You know, everybody okay. talks about uh Batman and Superman and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Ninja Turtles is arguably the greatest, not the greatest, but the best comic book movie ever. Uh, yes, possibly fact, the best. It is. It, it is one of the greatest comic book movies, especially the '89 one, the 1991. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nigga, Jim Henson was in a building. <laughs> Yo, it was real <laughs> niggas in them suits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Corey they, they went to they went to Sesame Street himself. <laughs> right. <laughs> they was like, hey, nigga, he said, we want five. We want five foot turtles in a fucking <laughs> sewer. April O'Neil, Casey Jones, you want to wreck shit. <laughs> and, and Jen Henson said, say less. <laughs> say, nigga, say I, less. I, fuck with, I fuck with frogs and pigs all day. Turtles? <laughs> nothing, nigga. Nothing, yeah. nigga. And, and, these, and these niggas fight? Oh, man. God, oh, man. Hey, tell me <laughs> shit. Sign me up. I mean, yeah, it's it's arguably one of the, I mean, I don't know if that's even an argument. Yeah, it is yeah. the best comic book film out. I mean, if we think of some others. I mean, yeah, like Marvel and everything's going down the line, but like as an independent cartoon as where it was the animation was only created to sell toys yeah yeah, yeah. where like the animation surpassed the toys Mm -hmm. i mean it definitely did that and um it was i related i related so good to it because just like y'all three man like i never really had any older brothers and i'm the oldest one Mm -hmm. so i always saw myself like oh man those those, if i had brothers they would be like that and i would be I would be the red one. I would have a goofy one, the smart one, and a fucking mama's boy one. He just <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a perfect characteristics. And yes, it is the greatest comic book movie out there. I, compared to what? Like, Especially for the yeah, time. Talk- yeah, like niggas thought Turtles was nah, real, shit, motherfucker. Nah, that shit broke <laughs> records for the time it was yeah. out. That shit was a damn near like an independent film when it came out. Yeah, yeah nigga, exactly. And like, I don't know if you saw how it was made or something like that like it was on netflix or something like there was a good documentary oh yeah like, they went through yeah the, yeah yeah yeah. The, the grits and grind of like how to make that independent movie and like i love to hear those type of stories of like wow it's just like us like y'all create a podcast well, i'm doing comedy it's just people just creating dope shit and like you just can't lose it's just so inspiring so I owe the Ninja Turtles my life. <laughs> when I'm on that Emmy Emmy stage or Oscar, I'm like, I would like to thank Raphael from the Ninja Turtles <laughs> and and the Three Ninja Podcasts. Thank Word. you. I would like <laughs> Nigga, if you ever remembered us besides this point, yeah. I fuck with you. <laughs> oh, that's a fact, man. 
Yeah, no, I take, I, you know, when you hit me up, I was like, for sure, man, that's easy, man. I, any black media that hits me up, I always say yes, because it's just, we're always clinging on to the white ones and like mainstream, but it's just like, my nigga, this, y'all are, y'all are just as live as they are too. It's just like, they're yeah. older. You know, yeah. and also it's not even those times anymore. So mm. I'm I it's an honor to be on your podcast to be real talk. You know what I mean? Like appreciate yeah, that, so. man. Fuck. Hell yeah. Um <laughs> all right. So back to Ninja Turtles. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now uh speaking of speaking of Ninja Turtles, right? For your uh, newest Where? album, you work with Ben Bishop on the artwork. Yeah, glad you picked up on it. Yes, I did, man. Ben Bishop, yeah. Ben's been on the show yeah. before. Shout out to Ben. Oh, I bet he's been on that show. Kevin, like yo, you, you got you got us fucked up, though. So <laughs> Ben Ben Bishop's been on the show. Kevin Eastman's been on the show. We we had a lot of yo, guests. We had a lot fire, of people. Bro, yeah. Fire, bro. Fire. Ah, yeah. No, I gotta I gotta download those episodes. Nah, <laughs> I, just be, I just be saying yes to shit. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you know, but now, nah, like, but now nah, we got I'm some like, yeah. uh, good guests. So, uh, but yeah, Hell Ben Bishop, yeah. how'd you hook up with him? So send it with Kevin Eastman. Like I we. Kevin Eastman's wife is the one that really runs the behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> she had a Halloween. Yeah, exactly. So you know the vibe. Yeah. So she had like some Halloween spectacular where a fundraiser where they would draw the Halloween versions of the Ninja Turtles. Mm. And so I was the host for that. So the illustrators on that panel was Ben Bissett from Ronin. Mm. Uh I forgot the other guy's name, but he was also the head director and illustrator for the Ninja Turtles in 2012, 2013 animation. Mm. Um, that cartoon, the TMNT one, that movie, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, which was which is like one of the best animated movies. Also, that shit fire. Mm. Um, and um, and there was another artist in there too. I can't think of his name, but that's how I met him. Like, do that little free gig. And they paid me in like Ninja Turtle memorabilia, and that's I'm fine. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "Yeah, have that nigga draw on everything and send it to me." Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, my child, my inner, my inner child loves all of it. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's how I met him, and then I just I pitched him the idea via DM, and he was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm with it." And so we we drew it out. Uh, did you guys get a copy yet? I gotta send y'all a copy, man. No, nah, I, didn't, I didn't get it, but that would be much appreciated. So, so there's like a yeah, comic yeah. book in like the the actual book. So you got an actual real. That's how I know this nigga old. Like, <laughs> just like a, yeah. they got an actual CD yeah. with yeah. like shit in the book. Yep. Like it's, book. it's a comic. Yeah. It's a comic yeah. in the book. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, reminiscent of the you know Best Buy days. Them um the nobody beats the Wiz days. Where mm-hmm. You can get like an album and get a booklet Same in there, good. and it'd be like all the R and B niggas. It'd be, it be sometimes we had the lyrics, or sometimes it just has them looking like a yearbook. Yeah, um, I I love that era, man. So I, yeah, I just wanted to bring a little nostalgia to that, and, and literally make that a comic book. And the album is a QR code inside the okay. CD. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And yeah, Ben Bishop, and like the whole story is basically like Akira theme, yep. mm. but it's an it's an original story. The the yeah, the 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 whole album is a secure theme, but the actual story is original. Like me and this other comic guy, Chris uh, Chris Daniels, he he wrote a comic book for Batman. He wrote on Batman, mm. um, and uh, his uh, his comic book is in Forbidden Planet. That shit's all you know in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I I connected with him. I said, "Yo, let's write this comic book." He was like, "Fuck yeah, that's fire!" So, uh, yeah, so it's. Yeah, I gotta get you a copy, man. I gotta, I gotta send y'all a copy, man. That shit, it's shit crazy, man. It's fire. I give you so that. So when I'm out, I, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I got you, man. When I'm on the road, I'm just, I'm gonna have a bunch of them with me. So mm. it's just, it's just cool to have to sell. Word. Now, yeah. um, speaking of the album, it just dropped on June first. Um, gang, gang, gang. Great, great album. Um, Thank you, sir. Now, on the intro. Is there actually a difference between Nori and Nori Davis, or or you just bringing skits back? Oh man, yeah, no, there definitely is a difference. Nori is that raw and unfiltered uh, voice, and Nori Davis is the one who's more timid and scared and doesn't want to cause any trouble, any <laughs> mischief. So I was able to like. I mean, out the gate, my first joke was about the white world war. Like, mm. and I I still perform that bit and white people look at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, nigga, like, that <laughs> nigga's really fighting each other. It's, 
<laughs> like white people, it's you. It's you. <laughs> it's it's literally you. Don't look at me like I'm fucking crazy. Fuck out my face. Like it's you. Like I'm not out here. You know what I'm saying? It's just. But then when I perform that shit in Philly, that shit murdered. Yeah. Like because like because like, yeah, we, cackling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bunch of women, yeah, women. <laughs> yo, I keep funny, with, you. Fuck with I keep. Niggas, yo, Don't yeah, straight freeway, way. niggas. Freeway and Eve. Everybody. Freeway. Freeway. <laughs> all press everywhere. Exactly. They all just like, ah, ah nigga, ah, you got that, dog. Like, yes, like, I know I'm not tripping. So, yeah, there, there definitely is a difference. So, I, and I want to bring in a little flavor from um Stefan and Urkel. Mm-hmm. And that's. That's one of my like top five inspirations ever. Like Steve Urkel was a walking SNL show, right? Like, yeah, and nobody. He made Judy. I mean, <laughs> he went upstairs, dog. Never came back. Like, nah, we got Never too many motherfuckers on, on payroll. Let's just Bro, oh, toss this little bitch out. Maybe she'll do porn later. I don't know. God, maybe she'll get money niggas, somehow. He's just <laughs> porn upstairs. That's why they. <laughs> They put their ear to the door like, yeah, I think oh. she's still in there fucking. All right, well, it's a rare condition. <laughs> this day and age. <laughs> Getting big. <Sex>. Whoa. <laughs> it's a- <laughs> oh, my God. Getting, getting fucked upstairs. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was wild, bro. Um, oh, yeah, you know, shit. so Steve Urkel, like, so, like, I, I brought in that to bring skits. Uh, yeah, so I brought in that flavor from Family Matters of the intro and outro. And that actress that plays it is Kristen Dawson from um, Flatbush Misdemeanors. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show you. She's so dope. She's so talented. So I got to release that video, too. Like, I'm still doing the rollout of the marketing of the album. Because, like, you know, on social media, you just got to keep hitting niggas over the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with shit, like, my algorithm can reach you one day and then it's going to reach Putin the other day. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> like, this shit is This stupid. guy ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> this, this black kid is funny. Bring him over here. Right, bro, Bring dead. him here. I want to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to talk to him. <laughs> what do you want to know about the war? White, okay, white uh, world war? <laughs> yeah, white. Explain white. it to me. That, like that's just racist. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, damn, I forgot my next question. <laughs> um, um what was it? Fuck, what was my next question? What was it? Shit. <laughs> Shit. Wait, wait, oh, album, so. so yeah, um, so uh, the album, wait, right? I, I, so yeah, yeah the right. album now. Uh, what, what you, you start panicking. What, what you wearing? <laughs> 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 nah, I'm looking at my sheet. I lost my place. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> um, but uh, the album, right? So now the bonus yep. track is, I guess, like a bunch of outtakes of niggas in the crowd because you recorded it live, <laughs> bro. Um, yeah. Was there yeah. anything too crazy that didn't make the CD, or like, obviously because there's no visual that I saw anyway. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, was no. there anything like outlandish in the crowd that happened that you can tell us, or anything that we didn't hear <laughs> that just couldn't make the the CD? Uh. I think like yeah, I think you guys heard Shorty getting kicked out the show, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I think that's the most wild. But um, let me think. Yeah, that's really no everything you hear. Like literally was happening. Like happened. Like the eleven o'clock show was a straight fight. <laughs> yeah. It was a it was a straight boxing match. I'll never do eleven on a Friday ever again. Like <laughs> you you get the audience, even my fans. Like the fans that pulled up, they were dope, but the club's random ass drunk ass walk ups <laughs> outpowered my fans on a Friday at eleven. <laughs> I'll never do that shit again. Cause like that's just a spot where like everybody's drunk. They've been working all day and they just ready to go somewhere where like, oh, this person is talking. Let's fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> let's ruin their day. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let's 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 ruin this shit real quick. Um but it was just so, yeah, yeah, no, like, yeah, yeah, everything you heard, like, it's it's live and direct. And yeah, there are visuals, like, I'm releasing snippets. Mm. So even the snippets you see in my reels, those are, like, from the 11 o'clock show. And I was actually able to get some jokes off. But the only crazy shit was, like, yeah, sure, you just kept sleeping. And then she would wake <laughs> up during the punchline. <laughs> that was weird. Uh-huh. That was so weird. Uh-huh. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like, why are you out here, girl? Go home. Like, I don't even understand those type of people. Like, yeah, I don't want to go home, but I feel like ruining shit. Nah, she was a single mother. She didn't have a kid, so it was just like, I'm going (laughs) somewhere. I'm doing something. I'm getting drunk tonight. (laughs) You're right. You're right. They, yeah, she came the fuck out, and then she got kicked the fuck out. (laughs) I mean, what are y'all? What are y'all doing? Like, (laughs) sometimes people just need a place to sit down. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Knock it right the fuck out. (laughs) Exactly. Knock it right the fuck out. So. Yeah, I just wanted to release all that shit, and I edited it. Um, there were just some parts that, like, you probably couldn't tell, like, what was happening because you need to see the visual. So mm-hmm. I just made sure that the the audio is able to give you a clear visual of what's happening. So yeah, got you. Now, such a fucking. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened on the eleven thirty show, right, guys? Okay. <laughs> 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 now this is your fifth comedy album correct five brother five one two three four five, five. <laughs> yes. now how did you start doing comedy let's let's take it back Ooh, all the way there let's take it back let's take it back uh Matter fact, okay before you do that how much time we got with you because i know you said you with your lady <laughs> Um, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever the time the podcast is, right? Nigga, like, I keep going here for two hours. Don't yeah. that. <laughs> well, yeah, not two hours. Yeah. <laughs> you got some of my time, at, not at all that, my time. Yeah, at yeah. that point, we're going to be talking to each other's horoscopes. So yeah. Right. yeah, man, I, you know, I'm an Aries, and sometimes I'm dealing with. <laughs> I got a Sag moon. I'm a water sign. <laughs> I don't You're know what none of that shit with... means. <laughs> My girl in the back. Get you still on there? <laughs> yeah, we're learning about yeah. each other. We're talking about Krang, <laughs> baby. Chill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> baby, I told you not to disturb me while I'm talking about Krang. <laughs> the fuck? No, but uh, so 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 how did you start doing comedy? Oh man, yeah, in college, bro. Like my senior year, Pratt Institute, I saw Ben Bailey. I was one of those kids that would go to the college shows and just like it just be mean like for the nerds mm-hmm. <laughs> and just be awkward. And I was it was the cash cow, the cash cap nigga. So I remember watching him and he fucking destroyed it. He just ripped it apart. I was like, oh man, I want to do that. So I got into comedy doing improv. There was an improv on campus, and mm-hmm. then the improv was. I, I didn't like it because they kept tapping me out before I could develop my scene. I'm like, <laughs> y'all niggas is haters. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I just sat down at this bar. Let me figure it out what I'm doing next. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and they would tap out with a joke. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Let me try this shit by myself. So I found out that that comic Ben Bailey performs at the Comic Ship Live. Went there one night just to scoop it out. I was like, this shit fire. And they had comedy classes. So I lied to my mom and saying like, yo, I got this, I got this college course that's like 400 bucks. <laughs> and... <laughs> You know, and she's like, all right, well, ask your dad. So I asked your dad, and he was like, yeah, here, nigga, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I took that money and gave it right to the comic strip live, and I added in a comic strip comedy class into my syllabus <laughs> as I was in, like, my, like, semester, first semester of um, of um, senior year in, at Pratt. Mm. And from there, I just never stopped. I just... I just kept learning the craft. And then after that, it's just be funny, make friends. Mm-hmm. After that, like you on your own, man. Open mics, bringer shows. I came to the bringer show era, like begging family members to come watch me bomb real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking I'm going to get into the club. But no, they just took my family's money and bounced. <laughs> and, said, Thank you. And, and didn't book me at all. Like, oh, shit, this shit is all a lie. Like, this is not how you get booked. So, yeah, bro. Like. And then ever since from there, like, yeah, so this summer would be 15, 15, 14 years. Mm, Probably, I think it's 15 years. Yeah, 15 years doing it. And so I'm only like, like Jerry Seinfeld says it, the age that you're doing in stand-up, that's how old you are in in real life. So, like, if you've been doing for 15, you're a 15-year-old on stage. Like, Mm. minus, or excuse me, like, given like Chappelle who's been doing it probably like 38 years I think oh my he's, a, he's a 38 year old nigga 38 <laughs> disgruntled <laughs> nigga yeah <laughs> trans not understanding that <laughs> that's funny cause I'm taking one of those classes right now that I paid for and shit and nice. I'm not learning shit <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask what kind of stuff did you learn in that class that you took what I, I haven't yeah. learned shit <laughs> like they yeah what 
what did you, yeah, what are you learning? Like, what, matter of fact, it's always about the teacher. Like, you got to look at him like, nigga, what you do? No, <laughs> well, well, he's done <laughs> like, you know, Comedy is Central shit. Or he, is real? <laughs> like, oh. like, like, it's, it's, th- it's three teachers and they've been, you know, doing comedy since forever. Like, one person's done like a mm-hmm. Comedy Central special and like, this one's doing improv and she does, like, like she's a writer. Like, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. So like, the yeah. first day we get in there, they give us like a worksheet. It's, it's not like a, like a worksheet where it's just like, they, they put like topics on the, on the paper. So it was mm-hmm. like, hey, yeah. word association. So, Whatever you think of, write it down. Write it down and like, we'll, right. you know, just blur it out to see if it's funny. And then basically the whole class was just, you know, talking to each other, bouncing jokes off each other. Second mm. class, we actually like performed and shit. Oh, okay. So oh, it was sad. like, you know, do you have your five? So, so the end of first class, he was like, write five minutes. Next week, you're going to perform it. Come next ah. week, did we perform it? And it's like, they give you critiques on that, like how you can improve on a joke, how you can, you know, you know, just. It, take out certain words, input certain words, inflection, tone, you know, just stuff like that. But it's like shit I well, already knew. let me knew, tell you, man. No but I don't have time to write you, five minutes. <laughs> yeah. No matter what joke you got, just add hamburger at the end. <laughs> <laughs> hamburger. <Burger. laughs> Done. Done. Gotta get him. <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> hamburger. Drop, drop the mic. I'm a star, nigga. Bye. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, definitely. It sounds like you don't respect your teachers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I, I, I told these niggas on air like either I'm going to learn something or I'm going to get a bit out of this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay. I'm paying yeah. to to network with niggas, but also I'm gonna get some out of this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas say I'm gonna get something out of this. I'm something. gonna get me a bit. Yeah. Or something. What Denzel say? But, I'm uh, leaving with something. I'm <laughs> leaving with something. <laughs> Okay, like, and you do that in, in Connecticut. They have that? yeah. Is that a comedy club Where, or is it college? Like, it's a it's a, it's a comedy club. They got a stress factory. So there's one in New York, uh, and they just put one in Connecticut. Factory. Maybe like three, four years ago, something yeah, like that. Not tomorrow. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, it's the, that Vinny Brand. Yeah, Vinny. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, man, man, giving that white man that money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he gonna teach you how to bomb, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> We'll talk yeah. off air, yeah. <laughs> but um, okay. now yeah. I heard something about you got a Connecticut story, right? So when you were street racing, right? Oh, where yeah, was that bro. in Connecticut where you got arrested? <laughs> Nigga, I think that was Bridgeport. Oh, right shit. oh shit. Yeah, Bridgeport. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think it was definitely in Bridgeport where like it's not far away, but it's kind of far to be out there. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember my mom beating me like, why are you all the way out there? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. She beat me the next morning. Like, why the fuck you was all the way out there? What the fuck? How you know Bridgeport? You know, like, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm racing, my nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> I got a fast and sipping. I'm hot. I'm doing things. <laughs> I was hot in the streets. Hell yeah. I had a, um, I had a 94 Civic SI Black with the sunroof and it had an H22A Japanese prelude engine in it, just stuffed in that motherfucker. It just sounds so expensive. The torque, <laughs> the torque was crazy. Yeah, it, it was. Like, <laughs> I mean, we talking like early 20s, dog, like, yeah, a thousand, like $1,200 is like $2 million. Yeah, <laughs> <now> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, twelve hundred. Like, okay, I can kind of, I can do that now. But back then, I remember like twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, all right. If I work at Boston Market three times a day, <laughs> three times a day, <laughs> three times a day, I work at Boston Market, and then I go over to Shoprite. I can, yeah, I can make it. I was, I was grinding, bro. Yeah. So, like, and this is before, yeah, definitely before scam. So, like, yeah, over there in Bridgeport, bro. Like, I beat that yellow type bar. I beat it, and I, I still to this day, I see that fucking guy's face like one more time <laughs> like miming it to me one more time and i was like yeah <laughs> and then we lined up and then cop mm-hmm. pulled up right in front of me and that nigga bounced i was like fuck <laughs> and then i was just like yo we were just lined up like mm-hmm. we were just in, tr- in the we were just in the road officer he's like nah i caught you about the race i'm like we talking about and then he, he turned me around put handcuffs i was like oh shit i'm getting arrested the fuck <laughs> I was like, call Ken Davis, call Ken Davis. Ken Davis. Uh, <laughs> I was like, call my dad, man. He retired cop. Call him, call him. <laughs> oh, niggas love using that line when they got a, a family member that's a cop. <laughs> no, nigga, I'm a nigga, my yeah. mom, my dad, yo. <laughs> that's the plug. Like, yo, emergency, mm-hmm. emergency. Please get, get him in here, get him in here. But that's, he know me, he know but, me. But that shit don't work out of state, do it, or does it? 
Uh, is, is, is that shit universal? Where it's like, if you a cop anywhere, like if you, if you a cop in one place, you could just use that all over the country. Like, hey, my yeah. dad's a cop in Wyoming. Yeah, you you right. <laughs> I remember it, it. It it sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Because I remember the cops saying to me, like, "Well, what that got to do with me?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and that was an NYPD cop. I was like, oh fuck! Mm. Like, if you NYPD, you saying that? I'm like, you ain't got no love for the Yonkers PD. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it, it 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 varies up and down. What the fuck is that shit gonna work or not, man? That's I'm gonna tell you, man. Yeah, that's my privilege. That's that's a tool that mm. I did like to use, nigga. I was just and that nigga hated using that. <laughs> I was like, yo, you a cop, nigga? Flex, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. Hell yeah, we I'm gonna get in trouble. Shit. I need you help me. <laughs> oh yeah, you got a Bar Simpson ass son, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm need your help, nigga. Get me out of this. Like, <laughs> he got me into some shit I shouldn't have been in there. Hell yeah. I was straight road running. This nigga's coyote. Like, he tired of my ass. And I had those PBA cards. I would pass them out to my niggas. He hated that shit. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> like, like, if y'all think it was like, yo, you got that PBA? I'd be like, all right, yeah, I got you. I'd be like, yo, dad, let me get PBA. How many? I just need, I just need three. Fool, look, man. Like, just sure, need right? like, You asked too many questions. Don't worry. Like, it's, it's for my. Exactly, it's for my boy. Oh, my other nigga, and I just name random names. He'd be like, "Oh, all right, all right." <laughs> <laughs> nigga, pass them shits. I like Pokemon cards, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Now, um, yeah. back on the comedy side, do you remember yes, your sir. first bomb or your worst bomb? Which story you want to tell? Ooh, hey. All right, first bomb and worst bomb. All right, so worst bomb was definitely doing a show. I think it was this Black Room show on Thursday. My boy from Atlanta was down to see me. And Rob Stapleton was hosting. I'll never mm. forget this moment. And it was like a room full of Black people. Even Black people was on the stage and shit. And like I had this one gas joke that it hits. But I wasn't sure if it hits consistently. But I was <laughs> confident, like, I'm going to do this joke. Mm. And then I get up there, I get so nervous, I forget the gas joke. So I keep going like, yeah, gas is crazy. Gas, <laughs> gas, gas is crazy. Gas, gas is crazy, y'all. <laughs> and man, it's, whoo, I'm dying, bro. Like, and I don't remember, like, I guess my trauma brain is trying to make me not remember that painful <laughs> moment. But I remember getting off stage and Rob Stapleton rose to me for 10 minutes <laughs> of like, damn, y'all, did y'all see that gas joke? I, ain't know that. <laughs> I was like, it was straight like shredder vengeance. Like you will reap the day, Rob Stapleton, <laughs> that you have ever came for Nori Davis. <laughs> <laughs> I I was straight like Megatron, like nigga, you will die, Star Screen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, no, he got that off. That was, I mean, that was normal of him. And uh, <laughs> then my boy was like in the car, just quiet, like you know, after you get your ass beat, like, <laughs> like <laughs> as bombing. It's just like, don't worry, man. You gonna, you gonna, don't even worry about that. You gonna get back out there. I was like, you right, you right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst bomb ever, bro. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, yes. And then my first first bomb, the comic oh yeah. Uh the comedy seller open mic. They used to do open mics way back in the day, then they stopped it very fast because it was just allowing people to come into that church that they didn't want people to come into, like mm -hmm. weird ass people. So I bombed on that open mic because mind you, I was coming from bringer shows. Like, so every show I'm killing because my family's there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even computing that. Oh yeah. You invited niggas here. So you're going to win. Duh. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm like, Oh man, I'm killing. I'm about to kill at the cellar and watch me get past. Nigga, it was an open mic. I went up there. I did my first gas joke, which I know that kills. <laughs> the show. And I don't even know what was the gas shit. I don't even remember that joke. Anyway, and yeah, I bombed. I bombed. Like all those other, because like open micers, you know, there, there are other comics too and like people and they just looking at you like, fuck out of here, bro. Like we hate everything here. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> open mics. Whew, what a what a treacherous realm. I don't <laughs> even know what that underworld is at now. But yeah, that is, whew, that's a world. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was my first bomb at the comedy 
seller open mic way back in the day and bombed right there. I was like, oh shit, like, okay, I gotta go really be funny, funny. Mm -hmm. Like, I gotta go rethink this shit and get back out there and just, you know, keep trying, (laughs) keep trying, keep trying until I get it right. So yeah, luckily it's been going all right so far. Right. So now what's your writing process? Hmm, writing process. Let's see. Well, it's it's right now. It's like I'll write a couple of notes down and then the rest is just like working it out on stage, trying to find the rhythm mm. of the of the laughs of the pattern. So like yeah, I'll write a little bit to myself and then I'll go on stage with it and like figure it out. And then once I get like a, a couple big like the laughs that I like. Mm in this joke and then i just try to like be consistent with it you know yeah that's how yeah that then just the consistency is key man Mm. and um then from there it's like okay i got i got something and i I watch a lot of stand-up too i like yeah i even watch new stand-up i i was just finishing that lgbt standout celebration like where they just threw all the gays up (laughs) at one point (laughs) They gave Chappelle 60 mil and they gave all the gays six minutes. <laughs> on one special thing. They, they just said, get another gay person, go. Yeah. go. Another gay person, go, go, go. Oh, you go. <laughs> that shit was fucked up. They even do Wanda Sykes on there. They, they put Eddie in it. I'm like, fam, this is disrespectful. Y'all put Eddie, is it? <laughs> Yo, is she, is she like the queen or king? king? Is she like Bro, the top yes, gay? queen. Queen, okay. Yeah, Queen. Oh. You're right, Queen. Yeah, yeah, because she just recently transitioned, so you're right. Yeah, she's a... Because <laughs> oh, yeah, she was a man in drag. Wanda Sykes? She did no, Eddie dress- Oh No, no, I'm oh. talking about Eddie Izzard. Sorry. Oh, okay, got you, got, yeah, you, got Wanda, you, Yeah, Wanda, yeah, well, no, Wanda, yeah, you can say Queen, my bad. Um, yeah, yeah. But I thought you were talking about Eddie Izzard. Yeah, now, Eddie Izzard, I'm a, I'm a fan of Eddie Izzard. That whole, like, that cake bit, like, definitely cake, nigga, mm. Google that shit on YouTube. That mm. shit fire, bro. Like, this nigga Eddie Izzard don't miss. Anyway. Like, but yeah, they just do them all on that one special. So like, I watch everything because the more you absorb, the more you know. Like, okay, where can my voice fit in this in this realm of comedy? You know, like, why would people want to come and hear me talk? And you know, look, it got me onto y'all podcast. Bunch of niggas who love Kevin Eastman, love it. <laughs> like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, y'all are my audience. Hell yeah, like just out here finding the audience, bro. So yeah. And right. that, that's my writing process, yeah. When you okay. write a joke, do you script it all out or do you just have like an idea of where you want to hmm. go and then you sort of just flush out the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a, I have a rough estimate of like where I want to go with it. Yeah. And then I don't write it out for detail because yeah. then that takes it away. So I just have like a word that triggers it. Like, hmm. yeah, like gas. <laughs> <laughs> and then I depend on my brain to be like, oh yeah, here's the gas joke. Yeah. Yeah. That day, that day was like, I don't know where it's at. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, brain, where the fuck is it? I don't know, dog. Like it was here. I don't know. Dance. Just don't <laughs> dance. <laughs> dance. Oh, that's, that's literally like I'm fucking crazy, bro. Like, yeah, my my trauma voice is on stage telling me what to say, what. Or what jokes to do next? It's it's sometimes it's a good director and sometimes it's my worst enemy. Yeah. So, mm. but all in all, it is an enemy though. So <laughs> <laughs> it ain't it ain't trying to help me out. It's 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 that trauma from my mom. It's that trauma voice. Like I don't know if y'all have this too with your family, where like like I just opened for Chappelle and the Roots picnic and everything y'all said. Y'all congratulate me. It was your, my mom was the first. I told her about it and she was just like, "Oh, they shooting out there. Did you get shot?" <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful. It's so dangerous. I'm like, my nigga, I just opened up <laughs> for the person that inspired me to start this. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. No, 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 no. They, they they shoot. They shooting over there. You gotta be careful. I'm like, all right, whatever, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, got yeah, that, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the writing process, man. Just like, yeah, just dabble it, like write it down and then go on stage and figure it out, the timing of it, yeah. the wording of it, how this shit sound, how it feel. Hmm. It's a whole, it's a whole uh it's a whole lot of work. I love it though, but yeah, it's a lot of work just to feel the vibe of it, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. doing comedy fi- fifteen plus years. Have you had your just I made 15? It moment? I don't think there's no plus. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Just just 15. A couple weeks, you know. <laughs> Cause, Give cause or take right a month after or two. This podcast, I retired. 
But have you had your I got I've made it moment the, yet? Nah. Uh, yeah. I, and I, I think there's going to be multiple other I made it moments. Yeah, like, like the first time I got paid, the first time I got paid to do stand up, mm. that was fire. Like, oh shit, I really found a way of like maintaining my lifestyle with just telling jokes. Fire. Mm. And then my nigga you made it was my first album home game where i figured out how to produce my own album and i got with a record label and that shit was so fun that was a nigga i made it like being present just being i just want to be i'm just trying to be the bell hooks of comedy dog mm. that's it like I, I got some fire stuff i got some dope, dope books mm. they over there in the section of barnes and noble right there that's <laughs> it <laughs> that's it I'm just trying to be like get on my belt hook my Tony Morrison shit out here that's it like and then I'm gone baby um, I'm gone so <laughs> I'm gone baby I'm gone I told y'all 69 I'm out 69 I'm <laughs> in this Lambo <laughs> yeah and my Lambo with the morphine shot <laughs> so, <laughs> five stars no, peace bitches <laughs> yeah. yeah so there, there's always gonna be many more nigga I made it moments because I just feel like you ce- gotta celebrate all your wins man in this crazy ass world like we downplay so much of what we do so I just want to like I turned it up to her like hey I got late night or hey I just released this album I had a party or um yeah doing the first home game so like I had many of nigga I made it moments and there's going to be many more to come so Yes, Shit, man. I'm on this podcast, nigga. I made it. Nigga, I made, what? Nigga, we made I'm it. Talking, I'm talking to three homies that also fuck with Kevin Eastman like I do. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is this is a dream. This, is a, this is a home game, baby. <laughs> exactly. You are now a part of the dojo. You are family now. Yes. <laughs> dojo, yes. Hell yeah. We got the black Copa Kai happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should write this shit on a wall somewhere. <laughs> yeah, fucking, exactly. Yeah. Fucking, what's the name? Dojo. Black Copa Kai. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, no, yeah, I should put three pot ninjas, right? Three, three pot ninjas, yeah. three ninja pods. Yeah, three ninja yeah. podcasts. Yeah, just put that Got somewhere it. on this bitch. Fire. <laughs> now, um, so 15 years. Now, when did you actually consider yourself a comedian? Because a lot of people do comedy. They're not comedians. Yeah. Though. Mm-hmm. I consider myself a stand-up to be more of an asshole. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like I'm a stand-up, because that's a very direct type of art form in comedy that um everybody's scared of it even actors are scared of it mm. so i consider myself a stand-up uh when i uh let's see <clears throat> probably like doing a couple gigs and getting paid for your first gig or getting passed at the comic strip mm. stuff like small stuff like that that made me feel like okay I'm a i'm a real stand-up or like my first late night i want to be that type of stand-up where i want to be a a person that looks like us that's doing late night, you know, mm-hmm. uh, a, a real secret hood nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm straight from the the belly of Yonkers, and I'm Got out here size just telling my pocket, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Talk to me nice. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Talk to me nice, man. I will call the locks. I will call. The <laughs> uh, I know exactly where they live. <laughs> Juice for life, nigga. He always there. <laughs> yeah, she she help she help me and me. <laughs> where they at? Where they at? No, what the fuck they doing? What are they doing to my young god? Man? <laughs> so yeah, bro. Um, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the end of that question. Right now, <laughs> now, fifteen years doing this shit. Yes, sir, man. Uh, all the accolades you got. I know you're in a in a relationship right now. But yes, sir. Are there? Comedy groupies and what are they like? Mm, uh, what are they called? If you can't Talking answer, fuckers. it's all good. <laughs> Nigga, you know I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> like you know it. Like I'm, I'm glad you tried. But it, it. but it was but it was before her. <laughs> you right? But I don't feel like explaining that shit. Like, <laughs> you gonna have me explain that on a fucking what five o'clock on a, on a Sunday? On a Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> no, but baby, it was about the thing. Yeah. Nah, she's. She's cool, but like, uh, yeah, nah, I was never like that. I'm lying. In the beginning, yeah, I was. <laughs> uh, but it was more about like, oh, hey, you feeling me? I'm, I'm more of an empath, so I wasn't like hopping around all crazy. Like, I, I am Mr. Mr. Girlfriend nigga, so mm. I need to be emotionally attached or emotionally invested in you. I, I'm just never one of those like 
barbaric niggas that's just like fucking just the fuck. Mm. I mean, did that in high school and all that. Like that's strip club shit. And it's just like, all right, this ain't for me, bro. This shit weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's levels of the patriarchy. I'm like, ah oh, man, y'all niggas is wilding. <laughs> like <laughs> Really, like lap dances are five hours upstairs. God damn! All right, what <laughs> this economy is going nuts. Uh, so I got out of that world, and yeah, obviously, next question because you see me avoiding it <laughs> and answering it. So now, and, and um, yeah, so it's like you know, I can't say this. I, yeah, I know. I'm, I, you know, just, just throw it out there. <laughs> my job. as right now in media, this is what I have to do. Just throw shit out there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cool, yeah. just you know, pivot. And, you know. That's it's all respect. It's all respect. <laughs> but like, yeah. And how is it like? It's 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 whack. It's, it's hard. It's heartless. It's a whole bunch of hurt right. people. Fucking just it's, it's, yeah. It's just a whole bunch of hurt, hurt people. Fucking eat, hurt people. That's yeah. it. <laughs> now we're all, um, we're all we're all people that didn't get love from my parents. So we're just trying to find love. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of hurt, therapy. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, is sir. Is comedy your therapy, or do you actually go to a person? Both. Both definitely like go to a person, man. That shit is fire, and also learn so much about yourself. So then you can see, you can learn some mental tools to combat. For me, this this violent, angry, vo- judgmental, shameful voice. I feel like a lot of black people have this voice. I can't be the only one where it's like we're such a judgmental, like shaming each other and judging each other because that's how we came into this country, being judged mm-hmm. and shamed through slavery but it it kind of passed on into our elders and it trickles down so learning the mechanics of that and where that's coming from in therapy helped me unlock so much more material much more of my heart my brain um i think it's fascinating to show the vulnerability to yourself and to your to your homies and to a therapist so i i encourage y'all man if you if you can like just Cause then that's also going to help you tap into like really why you feel about things. And, and then you have more of a zoomed out perspective of like, Oh, okay. Two plus two is four and mm. I'm four. I didn't know that. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was two. <laughs> I, I've been the problem all along, you know, and understanding like what you've been through and you know, those things that you experienced as a child was not okay. Mm. And um, it's good to get some healing from that. Um, so yeah, yeah, therapy has been fire, man. It's really have been like life changing, really. Because like it's just because therapy just came out in twenty twenty. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, it's fairly, yeah. it's fairly new. I mean, a lot of white people do it, but they do it. Them therapists just give them drugs. I think that's just another term for drug dealer. <laughs> they always got some like drugs that this makes me not sad. This makes me happy. I'm like, nigga, I go to the weed man. We do not have no therapist <laughs> giving us drug slips. What right. fuck? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> or niggas just go hard and be like, fuck, it, I'm gonna do heroin. But anyway, like, yeah, I'm it's not a final taking no, yeah, exactly, final, final form. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, so therapy's been fire. And like even the next album slash special is going to be more about like therapy and like the deep divings of that, of my experience. Obviously mm-hmm. through a black nerd scope. Right. Now, are, <laughs> yeah. now, are you working on next hour now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This one's going to be the visual. And, you know, we're going to definitely get some buyers. Um, that's what I want to do. I def- it's, time, it's time for a visual. It's time for the visual. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do YouTube. I'm just gonna wait until I get a good buyer, and we got we got some good ones looking over the horizon. But hmm. first is just a first one is just to uh, write the material, and get it all together. So I'm figuring that out literally as we. You're yeah, right. Had, <laughs> yeah, literally as like yesterday, I had two shows. I got one show tonight, just figuring some ideas out and shit like that. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm excited for the next one. And also currently promoting this one, and I'm glad to promote it on your platform. Word, word. So we definitely gonna put the word out there. So I'm gonna let you go. My Don't nigga. Too long. My nigga. <laughs> um, final question. <laughs> we speaking yes, about sir. We speaking about specials. Um, do you have a top five favorite comedy specials from other comedians, not yourself? Oh fuck yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh top five. Okay. In no particular um, order. Okay, good. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Richard Pryor, live mm-hmm. on the Sunset, Sunset Strip. Strip. Uh, <laughs> Wanda Sykes, I'm going to be me. Okay. Martin, you so crazy. You so crazy. <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shit. <laughs> Uh, fuck. I mean, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Cat Williams, Ten Chronicles Tim Part Chronicles. One, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, I gotta bring it. Fuck, no, this is hard. You <laughs> see, <laughs> they, they got down to five. Like, oh this my god, there's so many. <laughs> I just forgot. Yeah, bigger, blacker, bigger and, and blacker. Also kill the messenger, but also killing them softly. Also, mm. the one he was in San Francisco. That one's one of my favorites. Mm. Um, fuck, laugh. No, what's that? Chappelle, for what it's worth. Mm. Um, for what it's worth, it's my. I put it for what it's worth up there. Fuck, Chris. I'm sorry, Chris. Mm-hmm. Shit. That's when he had that porn stash, right? <laughs> for what it's worth. I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he had the mustache. Yeah, and then he talked about like yeah, where's no, job? Where's that? Where's, where's job? Yeah, yeah, okay. Classic, classic. So, um. It's time for me to get my special like that. I, I I like to do the albums because I can get the audio out. Like kind of like I feel like I'm a SoundCloud stand up nigga <laughs> <laughs> when I'm when I'm doing albums. Like yeah, check out my album on SoundCloud, nigga, mm-hmm. and also Apple Music. <laughs> right. So I get to get my my presence be felt. You know, put out some work out there, and also I control it, which I like. And I want to, yeah. So then, like, so now I'm building for like the visual, and I might take some parts from the last album because I think some of the bits on this album play off way more better seeing the visual than audio. Mm-hmm. So I might, I might pick from it. Um, so yeah, bro, I'm excited, man. Thank y'all for having me. Dog. Word, man. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you for coming through. So new album out now. Nori is on gang, gang. Spotify and Apple Music. I want to say. Just Apple, Just Music, Apple Music, not Spotify, because I, I Spotify got beef, man. They they beefing with comics right now. Fuck the so. <laughs> All right, cool. So, exactly. so Apple Music right now, <laughs> and, and and my Bandcamp, my Bandcamp, and you can purchase the the comic book as uh on my Bandcamp. Only only available on my Bandcamp. Nori where? Davis. Where where okay so where where else can can everybody find you on the socials? Oh yeah, just Nori Davis, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Just that's just where my all the jokes they're talking about. Just hit up my reels and you can watch them. <laughs> they're Word. all right there. <laughs> yeah, man. Just feeding the algorithm. Word. So um, it's it's fire, man. I'm, I'm having fun with that too. So yeah, yeah. So appreciate you for coming through, Nori. Good luck tonight. Good luck in your career. If we don't thank you, to speak man. Again, hope, hopefully we do. Um, I shoot yeah, you that address. Yeah, no, we do, man. You got you got my email, send the address, and get out, and get out of that class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think you ain't you ain't. Don't give that white man nothing. <laughs> I mean, I ain't paid him get yet. I, I told him like, yo, I ain't got it. I ain't got it all right now. I got you on a payment Good. plan, so it was like Good. I could just Good. dip in the that, fuck I want. <laughs> and just and just go on the open mic, bro, like a guest spot, and then just cut, just keep. Keep failing, my nigga, until you fly. <laughs> Word. <laughs> keep failing, That's it. Nigga. Just keep, just keep failing until you fly. Yo, right. keep failing until you fly. You're going to hit it. Then you're going to be like, ooh, all right. This is my vibe. This is my wave. This is my voice. Right. You know? So, yeah, man, don't don't, don't stop, man. Keep going. Word. Thank you, man. My nigga, man. All right, man. Appreciate you for coming through, man. Talk to you soon, my brother. Love, man. Peace to y'all, man. Okay, all right. Be easy, man. Gang, gang. Later.